Hello Capricorn, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber, lovely to have you back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I hope you enjoy the reading. Um, it's a general reading so aspects of it may apply to you or could um, be playing out in somebody else's um, life, uh, somebody that is um, close to you at this time. Alright, so your first house of interest, um, fourth house and the tenth house are coming up in a lot of people's um, charts at the moment. Um, for obvious reasons, during the lockdown, these two areas um, are, are, you know, this and your work area are very, very important at the moment. So a lot of transformations going on there, and your chart is no different. So fourth house, um, this is the house of um, your um, your actual home, you know, your physical home, the actual structure, but it could also be where you're currently residing at the moment. Um, and it's also the atmosphere in the home and your um, the people in your home. So everything around your home life. Um, it's also your relationship to your family, you know, your foundations, your roots, where you've where you've come from, your early childhood, and so on. It's also your <coughs> ancestry or your ethnic identity, um, your relationship with all of that um, in your life. So this, all of these aspects, all of them may be coming in or certain areas may be coming in. Um, and everybody will be slightly different in this regard. So the astrological guidance is Capricorn I use and the goddess guidance is Mart Fairness. So um, it looks like, right off the bat, it looks like you're, you've, you may have some sort of legal issue uh, or some kind of negotiation going on to do with your home life or your home, um, or it could be to do with a family uh, situation. Um, but it, it's it's certainly um, it's coming up twice because it comes up in this card. Um, legal issues can very often come up in this card, and it's coming up in March as well. So um, in both cases, um, rules. So following the rules, uh, fairness. Uh, is coming out and a just outcome. All of those are coming up for you. Um, with Capricorn, I use what it is, is always about being resourceful, um, being determined. Um, uh, so it's not giving up uh, on something and um, just, you know, systematic. Um, there are no shortcuts with, with Cap Capricorn. So no shortcuts. It's not going to be a quick process. Um, it's slow, it's methodical, it's systematic. That is how Capricorn works. So you would know this being a Capricorn as well. So you're fully in your power with this card. Um, so really it's fall back, you know, fall back to your inherent nature during this process. But, um, sometimes when you're embroiled in something, um, where emotions are triggered, you're just triggered in general. Sometimes you can lose sight of what's really important um, at this time. So it's about staying true to your course. Do not give up. Just follow each step systematically. Um, it's also, as I said, about about being determined um, in a way, um, but not so determined that you override the greater good. You know, um, whatever the situation is that you're facing, you've got to look at um, everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's input has to be taken into consideration. So the greater good is the, is the, is the, is the most important outcome. Whatever happens for the greater good. So, um, look at it from that point of view. But it is also about being resourceful at this time. You may need to be, you may be helping somebody in your family situation. Um, and you really need to, you know, uh, apply um, all your best qualities at this time to see yourself and them through whatever uh, difficulties may be unfolding at this time. Um, then we have Mart Fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So it pretty much echoes the same thing, um, following the rules, um, be fair in all your dealings, um, be fair and just um, and if you are involved in any kind of legal or negotiation situation, take everybody's um, point of view into account um, and, and give up, um, give up sort of having a one sided or a one point agenda. Um, the greater good is the most important um, outcome. What is going to be best for all concerned? So, um, you know, if once you, once you give up, on that, um, you know, um, 
hanging on dog- doggedly to your point of view, um, you, you sometimes lose sight of the overall picture and what is best uh, really. So what this is saying to you is that you need to take everybody's opinions and everybody's concerns into negotiation, um, into account, and, you know, let the universe handle things um, and, and, and deliver this fair and just outcome for you. Okay. If it's not legal or any other kind of situation as att- attached to that, it could just be that you are perhaps um, involved in something to do with your home. Perhaps you're trying to sell your home um, uh, or, or renovate it, or you're going through some kind of change uh, to do with that. And um, you've got a lot going on at the moment. Nonetheless, still fairness applies and a just outcome um, will be presented to you. So in that's, if that's the case, there may be a great deal going on. You may have a lot of pressures. Um, and this is where, you know, being determined and um, staying true to your course. And um, as I said, maybe a slow process. There may be many things that have to be overcome, many hurdles. Um, but it's it's about staying your course through thick and thin to, to get your successful outcome, you know. So it's all about that. And if this is not in your life directly, it's going to be involved, you know, in, it's going to be in somebody, somebody's life that's close to you at this time. So you may see this unfolding in their life and you may be involved in some way. Perhaps you are assisting them, um, bringing all your best Capricorn in, um, qualities to the surface to actually assist um, everybody uh, in this regard and uh, to, to, to obtain the best possible outcome for whatever it is that is happening at this time. Um, and, um, yeah, following the rules and, um, just, you know, going along, uh, in a steady and systematic way and you will reach, um, you will reach the, the end. Here for the next house of interest, we have the eighth house, endings and beginnings. Um, so this is the house of transformation and, um, the Grand Cross Provoker, which is the astrological guidance and Butterfly Maiden Transformation are all echoing the same theme. So you have a lot going on uh, at the moment. Um, eighth house usually deals with committed partnerships. So this can be a like a marriage or a long-term uh, love relationship, or it can be um, a business partnership. So this is the nuts and bolts of that. So you could be joining forces at this time. Um you know, uh, or perhaps you have an existing partnership which is now going through transformation of some kind. Um, so endings and beginnings come in, uh, in all forms. So it could be the ending of the way you have been doing things up to now and the beginning of a new chapter for you and this person, this partner, whether it's a, you know, a, a love partner or a business partner or, you know, somebody, somebody that you're very close to at this time that is, you know, you've been around for a long time. So it could also be the ending and beginning of it. Um, or it could be somebody else coming in. Um, there's lots of ways that, that you can look at this, or it could be that, you know, you have been in an existing, um, partnership of some kind and due to, uh, the lockdown and all the transformations that are going on in the world that is now being reflected in your relationship or your business partnership. So how you have been doing things up till now um, may fall away and you may have to bring in a whole new way of doing things um, to, to, to go with a, a new direction or a new path. It can also be the regeneration or the renewal of something. So um, maybe something had to finish in order for something new to be coming out of it. So this house covers um it, it covers all everything to do with sex as well. So anything to do with sex um in a committed relationship or any kind of sexual um issues or um um, um your outlook on all of that, all of that comes in. Um death. So it can be a physical death, but it's usually symbolic death. Um, which is normally the ego or some part of yourself which is falling away to make room for something else. And it can also cover aspects of birth as well. So that's where the endings and the beginnings come in. It's also the house of um, <clears throat> big finance. So this can be um, investments, insurances, accounting, banking, tax, 
um, legacies, inheritances. So if there has been some sort of passing away in your inner circle, um, a death of some sort, then legacies and inheritances and things like that come in. So that's where those uh, aspects do come in. So it's, it's, it's getting involved in, uh, so it's something to do with the past, finances attached to something from the past as well. So, um, anything around your big finance, uh, could be also affected. It's also the house of handling other people's resources. So this is when, when you're combining with another in some way, you're kind of mixing and joining your resources as well. Um, so all of those aspects um, are coming in for the 8th house. It's also the house of psychic development as well. So that may be coming in for you if, if that is a part of your growth and development at this time. The astrological guidance is Grand Cross Provoker. <coughs> so with this card, this card is a catalyst for movement and change. So, you know, this has already been highlighted in this house. So you've got like a triple whammy coming up with this. Um, so this is um, going to be, you're going to be under quite a bit of pressure with this because you've got four very hard angles bearing down on you. So the kind of result it brings about is lots of things coming at once which need to be dealt with. There can be small things, big things, um, or just lots of, um, you know, issues that have to be addressed. Um, and the, you, you, the only way to do it really is to prioritize um, from one day to the next, next, exactly what it is that you need to do on that day or in that moment. So prioritize, consolidate your time, um, communicate properly with other people um, and with those around you at this time as well. And really, it's it's about building stamina and endurance and um, managing your time because um, your timing is going to be important uh, with whatever is going on. But it's a it's a card of pressure, um, and, it, and, and when that pressure is applied in all different ways like that, it, 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 what it does is it creates um, a, a period where you have to be disciplined about what you're doing in order to get things done. Um, and um, so all of those aspects come in, but it's a, it's a time for building stamina, endurance, and inner strength. So this period that you're going through will stand you in good stead for the rest of your life. Once you get to the other side, you will look back and you will realize that you actually learned an incredible amount during this time, even though it may not have been very pleasant, or you may have felt frustrated at all these different things which kept popping up that had to be dealt with. Um, but it is it is very much a, um, a you know, you, you kind of, Polishing the stone to get to the diamond, really. That's kind of what's happening here. And it can, it's going to be hard work and there's going to be times where, um, you know, you're just going to feel like you're juggling, um, and getting nowhere. And this is where setting your priorities in the moment and each day is going to be important because once you do that, once you actually set your priorities, make lists or however it is that you want to do it, and then tick them off or cross them off, then that way you will feel a sense of achievement and you will very soon get on top of what it is you're trying to do and then you'll be away. Because once you start gaining momentum, once you start getting um, all these things done and you start uh, lining every, all your tasks up and you start achieving them one by one, then you will gain a sense of momentum and then you will, you will re then there'll be no stopping you after that. So it's kind of just working through that process. Um, you're also going to be pulling on all your talents and skills at this time. And um, there's no doubt that you can handle whatever is coming at you. Um, but it's a case of discerning what you need to apply in the moment. So whatever skill or whatever talent is required at that time for that particular priority, that is how you're going to manage it. So very strong card, very strong energy, and it's a period of uh, intense growth uh, as well. The um, goddess guidance is butterfly maiden transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So, as I said, um, time of transformation. Um, and um, what it's saying to you is not to fear these changes, um, not to fear them uh, because they are for, for your highest good. Even though it may not feel like it at the time, it is for your highest good. And you're going to get blessings from whatever is going down at the moment. So whatever is it is that you're dealing with, 
um, is going to be for your highest good and you are going to benefit. That It's going to bring blessings to you. So don't be concerned about what is falling away from you at this time. So what is ending or falling away is making room for the new. And the new is what's going to bring you the blessings. So don't fear the change. Don't um, try to um, you know resist. Uh, rather um, accept what is coming to you. Um, and as I said, prioritize and deal with it step by step um, and, um, just, you know, just um, hunker down and, and get on with what needs to be done in the moment and set your priorities. Um, because and, and know and know that, you know, you are going to have your blessings um, and through all the change and the turmoil that you will get to the other side um, and um, just call on all your talents and abilities um and um you will get through it step by step but it's it's a it is really a very very positive transformation and that's why she has all the butterflies there and um it really is going to be very beneficial for you in the end the last house of interest is the 10th house so you have the 4th house which is the bottom of the chart normally and the 10th house is the top these two houses are opposite each other so usually what goes on in the 4th affects the 10th and vice versa. So <clears throat> the 10th house is everything outside of your home. So we've already dealt with your home. The 10th house is everything outside of that. So that's normally your career, um, your fame, your reputation, um, your public standing or your public status. So whatever, you, however people see you, whether you're an employer or an employee or um, married or single or divorced or um you know, a celebrity or whatever, whatever is your public status. Okay. And all of that comes in. It's also the house of ambition. So your ambitions, what it is you're, you're aiming for. It's the house of authority figures. So this can be somebody personally in your life, like a, a parent or some other authoritative figure in your life. It can be a boss. It can be a mentor. It can be a guru, or it could be an institution, an authoritative institution like the military or the police or the government. Um, you know, it could even be a really big, powerful company which you are involved in. It can be represented in a number of ways. Um, but it really is, it does, um, it does have, you know, it's, it's something, it could also be something that you look up to or somebody that you look up to, somebody that you admire or a concept which you admire or what you are striving for in the world. It can be all of that for you. So the astrological guidance is Mars Force and the uh, goddess guidance is Lakshmi Bright Future. So <clears throat> with everything that's going on in the fourth, um, it could be underpinning what's going on in the tenth or what is underpinning, you know, what, what you're striving for in the tenth is going to affect you in the fourth. So, um, but the two agendas are working at the same time. So with the astrological guidance, we have Mars force. So Mars is the god of war. Um, this is your will. Um, this is your get things done planet. So it's also the, the, as I said, the, the planet of war, um, which you know, implies a number of things. What it implies is that you may have to, you may be challenged at this time in some way, and that's already coming up. So you may be challenged, um, or you may have to defend, um, you know, defend yourself, um, or you may just have to, you may just have to be tackling something, um, something which is, which is, you know, is, is, is going to come directly at you. And, um, the Mars energy will give you the um, the call to action. So there is action required in some way, but you may have to compete for something as well. You could have to compete. Uh, perhaps it's for something in the workspace, you know, your career, or you are um, going after something, or you are changing the way you do business, and you're now going in a different direction. Many people are having to at this time with um, the situation in the world. Many are having to redirect how they do business or how they work. Um, or how, how it is, you know, how it is that they're earning their income in the world. What is their career? Um, you know, the fame, the reputation, whatever is your status it may be changing at this time. So uh, this is a very, very common theme. Um, so you may have to, um, compete, defend or be challenged or challenge somebody as well. So, um, 
it's got all of that uh, with it, but it is certainly about action, some action, some form of action is required. And um, so, you know, apply yourself again, discipline, disciplined, uh, disciplined, applied action um, will get you the best result, not rushing, not chasing, um, you know, or impulsive, um, impromptu action. This is you know, to get the best out of this card, it's going to be a bit more calculated. Yes, you may be spontaneous things that you need to do if it feels right in the moment. But because you are a Capricorn and because you have Grand Cross here, this is more systematic. Uh, but it's applied energy. So you're going to get that initial, that, uh, you know, enthusiasm and that energy to do whatever it is you need to do, um, uh, to, to, to achieve results, um, with this. But it is the God of War. It's got that energy about it. It's red hot. It's fiery. Um, so just uh, take all the best of that and then apply it to your situation. Lakshmi, lovely card to be having anywhere in your chart. Uh, bright future, stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. So this kind of goes hand in hand with the Butterfly Maiden where, um, you know, whatever is going on, um, uh, embrace the changes uh, because they're bringing out, they're bringing in a new a new era for you um, and it's, it's, it's for your highest good. So... Worry is really um, a pointless, um, a pointless mindset. Um, it does nothing for you. Um, all it does is draw to you the very thing that you're worrying about. So rather redirect your energy into a positive um, um, mindset. So positive thoughts, positive words. Um, think good things, say good things, and that is what will manifest for you. Um, so it's about having a positive mindset and having absolute faith that what it is that you're doing at this time is going to be successful. Just have faith in that outcome and know that Lakshmi is with you. And um, that it's a powerful, she's a powerful goddess. So don't ever underestimate Lakshmi with uh, when it comes to abundance, because that's what she brings. She brings abundance. So um, so that's what you're ultimately aiming for. And um, with her in your corner, really, you can't go wrong. So just apply yourself in all the ways that we've already discussed. And, and and hold it in your mind, this vision of a positive outcome. And um, with all your Capricornian talents, your staying power and your, you know, your ability to to work through difficulties and to climb all those different crags to, to reach your summit, um, you, you really can't go wrong. <laughs>